To build a great business, you've got to have a purpose well beyond profits. You know the purpose behind Nintendo is to make people smile. And if you have a look at Compass in America, an amazing real estate firm that's being built over the last four or five years, their purpose is about making sure they can help people to find their place in the world. And when you get really clear about your purpose, everything that you do stems from that. Inside of our business, it was to inspire estate agents to achieve their potential and to reach financial freedom. So everything we do is about helping people to achieve their potential. Everything we do is about helping people to get to financial freedom. And when you start thinking about that, then it makes it really clear about the path forward. So inside of your business, what's the purpose that you've actually got? What is the underlying thing that you fundamentally you know, believe in that drives the entire company? What was the reason that you actually started your real estate business? Was it because you're in a position that you wanted to make money? Because unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for the client. It's not really the problem that you're solving. It's not really understanding the issue, the challenge that your business resolves better than anyone else. And when you get clear about that purpose, then it changes the entire way that you work. One of our clients have a purpose to be a business that facilitates the growth of people through property. And that means that the receptionist could one day become the head of sales, that all of a sudden the head of PM could move to becoming the CEO of the business. It could also mean that the tenant might actually become a landlord and the landlord becomes a buyer and the buyer becomes a seller. And that's ultimately about understanding that what you're going to do is to help people on that journey. That might mean that therefore you hold seminars for tenants about how to buy your first property. It might also mean you hold seminars and sessions for landlords about what to do in order to be able to grow their portfolio. And you might actually start to think completely different about problems that you'd never really thought about before. You see, when the purpose gets clear about the business, then you start thinking about where are all of the areas where things are clunky, where things are maybe not really working, or maybe it's kind of moving from one thing to the next, but you're not actually getting the result or the outcome that you want to get for your client. Now, if you get clear on the purpose, then you start thinking about how do I make it easier for people. Now, here's a great example of making it easy. We reckon that one of the greatest challenges in working inside of property management is the issue around people having to move out of their property. And when they go to move out, there's always this toing and froing between the property manager and the tenant about the cleanliness of the home. And it gets all like that because the tenants already moved on and they've already gone to the next one and they don't really have time to go back and clean it. And there's some sort of argument about how clean the oven is. Well, could we as an industry just fix that? What happens if we came up with a brand new methodology and we called it tenant easy? It's $4 a week and for four bucks a week at the end of the tenancy, we send a cleaner through who cleans these particular items. You know, things like the oven and whatever, wherever the challenges are. So that we could actually make it really easy for the tenant. Now I reckon that tenants would buy this like there's no tomorrow because if they're in a position that they could just move out and everything was done for them post, then that would actually be a great experience. And when you go onto Google and you have a look at Google reviews and Facebook reviews, do you know the number one thing that happens? Tenants who are unsatisfied are the ones that are giving the reviews. So why don't you actually get ahead of the curve, change the entire way that we do it, fix the issue for the tenant, fix the issue for the property manager, keep us away from the tribunal and actually turn these people that are negative into raving fans. That's what a great business does. It alleviates the pain points. We wanna make property easy for people. If that was your purpose, then all of a sudden those types of activities that we've just identified there would actually allow you to completely change the game. So what's the purpose of your company? And then when you get that clear, allow it to be the driving force that not only separates you, but differentiates you from every other firm in the market. I really hope you've enjoyed this month's growth leadership and management tip. I look forward to seeing you next month.